Hi folks, welcome back. So today we're going to start making uh, jewelry and we're going to be using casein. That's the protein found in milk. Now in our previous videos, you've watched me make uh, molds out of silicone to, uh, to do this. And what I've done ahead of time is I have looked for a few things around the house that I thought would make interesting little pieces of jewelry. One fun thing I found was I found a lifesaver. So I made a mold of it. And it says Lifesaver in there. So we're going to see how that turns out. Now, what we're going to be using is casein from our friends at Noble Elephant and regular household ammonia. So let's get started. I know you want to get into this soon. All right, folks. So what we're going to do now is we're going to mix up a um, what you can consider to be a base solution from which you can work off of to make many different types of um, casein jewelry with different colors uh, and such. I've already measured out everything here. We're going to start with 100 milliliters of ammonia, 10 grams of casein. To that, to make it more flexible, we could add glycerin. Uh, we could. We don't need the glycerin, but after we make this base formula, then you can begin adding the different colors. All right, so here we go. Stir bar first. Uh, you want to get this uh, stirring and add the powder very slowly. So we're going to put in the ammonia first. All right. There's 50. And another 50 makes 100. And to that, we're just going to start sifting in the casein a little at a time. Now, if it clumps up on you and goes solid, just uh, stir it by hand. Give it some time for the ammonia to dissolve the casein, and it will completely go into solution, as the term goes. So here's the process. And I'm not going to bore you with uh, the entire thing, so I'm going to stop here. I'm going to add it and get it into solution. Now, once you get everything in, you're going to want it to stir uh, two hours. And I like to let it stir 24. And what that does is that lets some of the water out. It evolves out so that it is a, a more thick solution. It becomes the consistency of a stir of a syrup, a light syrup and that is helpful. Okay folks, so here we are. Uh, we're at 24 hours it has started. Uh, you'll notice the color. Of a, it's, it's sort of a beige, yellowish. However, when this dries, it will dry clear. Now at this point, you can add your glycerin or glycerol. Um, that's going to add flexibility to this mix. For jewelry, you don't necessarily need the flexibility. As a matter of fact, you may not be what you want at all. So what we're going to do now, as you see, I have my little uh, sample containers here and we're going to add food color to make different colors and after we do this we're going to pour a little bit out here and make some fun shapes that we can use that makes jewelry okay let's get rolling here so what I've done here is um, poured out into my little containers an amount Added food color, and it's a by eye kind of thing. So, um, for to make the uh, to make the red that I wanted, it was five drops. So, you 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 need to play with that. Now, I also poured out the uh, the mix without any color in it onto these plates, so that uh, once they're dry, I can peel it off and I can show you that uh, how clear they are. Now I did not add any uh, 
Gusserol for the flexibility. So I wanted you to see the straight formula and how tough it can be. Okay, so and what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, pick and choose and pour a few things in here. I'm also going to put some into these rings right here just so you can see that in its uh, straight form. Okay. So I squeezed out a few different shapes uh, using colors to make the types of jewelry such as you know rubies or emeralds or uh, whatever. Uh, so this would be the, the clear type that you'd be able to see through this jewelry once it has dried. I poured out some rings just so we could see um, once these are dry that you can see through this stuff. Now I want to uh, point out just one thing here and that is when I was piping out these into the molds uh, on a couple of occasions I got some air bubbles. You don't want those to remain so what I've done here is I've scraped off the, the air bubbles and added more. Now the air bubbles will remain which is why I point this out. You'll be able to see those air bubbles in your finished product once they're dry. Now there are three ways that I want to mention that you can dry this. Now obviously there is the uh, you put it in the oven or you let it air dry. The air dry will take several days. You can use a microwave. Now don't use metal in the microwave. But I'm experimenting with something that I want to try. I don't want to use energy to dry. I'm going to use science. And I'm going to try some silica gel. Silica gel, such as this, is very effective at removing moisture, water, from things. Okay, folks. So here's where we're at. Um, I had poured different colors of the casein mix onto a mold to make jewelry and uh, I've run into some problems here that I want to uh, show you so that uh, you will be more successful when you do this now the problem is is there's a lot of water in the mix I made it very thin so that when I poured it uh, for instance here's the lifesaver and as you can see we've had some cracking and some shrinkage okay this is due to the water now uh, the, the good news is that the, the, the word lifesaver is showing up on here okay and here was the little wing and it did, uh, exhibited a lot of shrinkage so I poured again and I tried to speed things up and in this disaster I tried to uh, speed things up by using a microwave that didn't work either. Where I'm at now is that I have made a uh, a more thick mix. In other words, I've used more casein and less ammonia, and we're going to try this again. Okay, I'm also going to uh, heat this in an oven so that I can speed up the process a little bit. It's been several days where I've been working on this. But I did have a few things turn out well enough to be able to show you. If you'll recall, I uh, piped out some uh, of the base mix without any food color onto these plates. And even though this piece right here has cracked, it, uh, it shows very well how clear it can be. If I can get this off. Now I have another example too, but as you can see, it's quite clear. Now here's something really cool you're going to notice. When I hold it in my hand, uh, casein is very heat sensitive. In other words, it's going to curl up. And then if I flip it over, it's going to curl in the other direction. 
and it's just it's just amazing it's it's a it's a really fun reaction okay now here's another piece that I did and there was no cracking in this now I can assume the reason why is because it stuck to the plate well enough that even when it did draw it didn't crack but uh, as you can see it curls one way you see how clear that is uh, this would make an excellent food packaging or something like that and as you can see it would uh, it would respond very quickly to heat sealing so there's an option for you I also poured these out on discs so that you could see the different colors too and with the food color yes they are still clear uh, quite a bit of cracking so there you have it so I am going to I'm going to uh, close this and get back to you when uh, the more thick mix has uh, has dried all right folks so it's been about a week uh, several attempts uh, and the time needed to allow them to dry and uh, so here's the uh, here's where we're at here's the the final showdown so to speak uh, we've had mixed results okay um, I don't make jewelry but I knew that uh, the process did exist now in the last segment where I was headed was I made a more thick mix and I was going to let that uh, dry in an oven and um, that worked uh, low heat however air drying for several days will also work so um, here was the failure from the previous segment where the lifesaver uh, mix was poured thin and it drew and it cracked a lot uh, the mold is working and here is a uh, a more thick mix and I don't know if you can see that but even though it's not perfect um, the uh, the process is working I see the life and the saver didn't come out so well so uh, as you're doing this uh, you will have to develop your own method and uh, process but the thicker mix does work allowing it to air dry or oven dry on low heat Will also work you will still get some shrinkage so be prepared for that um, I pulled out a couple of different shapes like I said none of these are really items of jewelry they're just little tiny shapes that I thought would be fun to make so here let's call that a little red ruby okay and of course we can call this one an emerald lifesaver And uh, one of the uh, star patterns that I attempted as I was trimming it, of course I was in a hurry, but so I cracked it. But I'm going to show you the good part. Okay. Uh, let's see if you can see the little star. Uh, there we are. Okay. And uh, I used a nut. So this is an octagon. Emerald. Okay, and uh, I didn't spend very much time with the blue, but uh, there's some blue. Now, uh, finally, it's been enough time that uh, the uh, gallery that we made has hardened up. And I just wanted to show you hard as a rock. Now, at this point, you can do anything you want with it. You can sand it, cut it, mill it on a lathe. Uh, it's it's like stone so and they call this milk stone some people call this milk stone so there we have it okay now um, I had indicated about the um, silica gel drying I wasn't happy with the results however I wanted to include that in the end of this saying that uh, I'm not done with this yet okay I'm going to personally develop this process just a little bit more I think the container that I used was simply just too large for the volume of silicone that I used. So, there we have it. I have fun with this, um, and um, try it. You will try and you will fail, and you will improve your process. I guarantee it. It'll turn out great. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this has been a lot of help to you, and I hope it's been fun. And if you like it, 
please subscribe and look forward to my next video where we're going to touch briefly on how to make milk paint. Okay, bye-bye.